The reason why we focus on misconceptions is because every pupil has them. They come up with their own ideas about the world around them. And these ideas, most of the time, are scientifically incorrect. So it's really important, our job as teachers, to unpick these misconceptions, to make sure we can teach them the correct scientific content and so their misconceptions don't become a barrier to their learning and understanding. An m and lesson stands for Misconceptions and Modelling. Once a fortnight in Key Stage 3, the pupils complete 10 diagnostic questions around the topic they're currently studying. Each incorrect answer is a common misconception to really get them thinking and not just guessing. By doing this, the teacher can then model for the second half of the lesson the correct thinking behind how to answer each one of these questions and also the question that's answered the most incorrectly is then shared on the area. So then in the next fortnight, we ask it again to see if that misconception has been fixed. To create a culture where teachers aren't afraid to talk about misconceptions all comes down to honesty. You have to be very honest with yourself first and with members of your department about how secure your subject knowledge is and don't be afraid to ask and seek for support. It helps by talking about misconceptions with your class, by looking at common misconceptions across a year group that actually maybe you as the teacher have embedded that misconception, but that's okay. Have that conversation with members of your department. Where is your incorrect thinking? And you'll find quite quickly, the more you talk about misconceptions, the more easier it is. And there's definitely no shame in getting things wrong sometimes.